Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to install a Toto S550E bidet seat um, and I'm going to show you how to do it with a wall hung toilet which is what I have right here. Um, so you can see there is no tank and that presents the problem of how you get the water to the bidet seat. So I'm going to walk you through that. In my case, you have to take these covers off to get exposure to the bolts that hold the toilet seat on. So I'll take those off. You just slide these little covers off the screwdriver and now you can get to the bolts and unscrew them. Okay, so they want you to wet these rubber things and then push them through the two holes. Depending on which seat you got, you have to adjust this distance from here to here to the front of it depending on the model of the seat. Mine was 22 millimeters according to the instructions. And then just got them screwed down. Okay, so I'll just slide the seat on. You hear a click, you know it's in. And then Check the fit. Make sure that the comes down on the right spot. And now it's installed. So now we have to do the electricity and the water. So you see how the hose and the electricity come off the left side? Well, I'd like to swing everything over to the right side and have the connections go underneath the toilet. So I'm going to bring this around. The hose thing swivels and now it's on this side. So next we have to make the connections and I'll show you how I'm going to connect everything up. Okay, so here's where it gets a little tricky. For the standard install, when you're using a tank, a toilet tank, you're gonna use this T-joint and just tap off of the, the water line coming out of the bottom of your uh, wall up to your tank, and then this is gonna be how you get the water into the hose. For my install, um, need a couple of, I'm gonna be going through the vanity here uh, where the sink is. So we need a couple of parts. The key part you need is this um, THP3141 uh, adapter. Um, Toto puts on a custom connector here. So there's really nothing that'll fit this. So you have to buy this thing. Um, so that'll get you into like a normal um, half inch pipe thread, and then, um, oh, and one more thing, this little washer guy, this came part of the 3141, so you need to use that as well. So I'll show you how to hook it up. I use this thing here, um, you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's, that converts from a half inch uh, MIP to 3 8 inch um, compression. So I'm going to put that on there and then when I get in the vanity I'm going to use this as my T um, which is just 3 8 um, compression um, on all sides of the connector. So that'll be in the vanity. This will be attached to this thing. These two things will attach. How am I going to get the water to the inlet hose. I'm just going to use a dishwasher supply line. You can get this from any hardware store. Uh, this is an eight foot um, stainless steel and it's three eighths uh, compression on both ends. That's what, that's what that is. So I'm just going to run this, um, this supply line from the Toto hose um, into the 
vanity to get the water. So the washer that they give you with the THP 3141, you just put it in that end there and then we'll connect the, uh, the half inch to three eighth inch to adapter next. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some pipe uh, Teflon tape on this end here. Just wrap it around a couple times. And now I'll screw it into the adapter and I'll just use some wrenches to tighten this up. Just let's get it nice and tight. This end doesn't need a washer. Um, it's already got one on it. You can see that black thing there. So now we just screw this thing on. far as it'll go. Okay there's the hot and the cold. The cold is on the right and first thing we do is we have to turn off the water. So just turn that off and we just take off that the fitting right here and we'll put the T fitting in the middle of that. You want to have a rag or a bowl underneath there to catch any of the water. All right, I loosened it with a wrench, and I'm just taking it off. Okay, there it is. It's off. Now I'm going to put the T in the middle. First, I'm going to connect. This is the. Uh, this is what's going to the. Um, to the washlet. So I'll connect that to the T and then I'll put the T in the middle. I'll use a wrench to tighten that. Okay, so I've connected, um, this is going to the faucet, this is going to the bidet seat, and now I'm going to connect that one to the supply right here. Okay, you just get it tight and then go a quarter turn. So the washlet hose um, cord goes over to the right side and then down here and here is the this dishwasher hose that's going to connect and you just screw it on hand tight and then uh, a quarter with a wrench. Okay, so I've made all the connections. Let's take a look at them. So I've got them running onto the right side. And you have the hose with the water connection and then the electrical. So you can see the stainless steel um, hose there with the adapter, um, the two adapters actually, and then the dishwasher three-eighths line, um, the electrical, and that all just goes underneath the toilet. And on the other side, this is what it looks like. I used a cord cover or wire hider, sometimes they're called, to put the um, stainless steel line. And you can see it's just running into the back of the vanity there.
this is what the um, cord cover wire cover stuff looks like it's just like a channel you can push the uh, whatever you're trying to hide in through here it's paintable you can see a, a little test piece here and so that's what that wire cover is being used for the plumbing but uh, does a good job it was able to fit in here so um, worked out well and here's this was an extension cord uh, that I got off of Amazon um, the cord that came with the Toto is just not long enough so uh, there's a connection there so the last thing to do here is just to kind of tidy up the wires a little bit um, I've got some uh, some white duct tape here get this anywhere um, so I'm just going to tear off a couple of pieces and just kind of try to tidy up the wires okay so this is what um, it looks like after kind of taping it up it's not really that noticeable because it's on the opposite side of when you're walking in um, and the cord both cords are kind of like tucked in over there so it's not really noticeable and then there's the power hope you enjoyed this video um, if you have any questions put them in the comments I'll try to answer them and good luck with your install.